Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me for my content day. I thought throughout this entire video, why not just do an entire like manifestation video? Because I do these personally. I'll like make videos just being my future self, just like pretending this is my life, this is what I'm doing, and like you know, in a video, which obviously I don't share with anyone, but I'm gonna share this time what I usually do. I did share one where I spoke about manifestation and I didn't really wanna put it, include it in the video, but I did anyway. And that was about me moving out of my mom's house and literally like, a couple of weeks after that, I ended up moving out of my mom's house. We're just gonna get ready with my future self. Today, I'm gonna be working with Dossier. They sent me two fragrances to try out and use and uh, guys their perfumes are inspired by more high-end options and you know that's the entire vibe we're going for I'm trying to smell expensive even if it doesn't cost that expensive price point but we want to smell that way that's what we're going for luxury on a budget and these they give you that floral pink pepper is one of the perfumes that i got this one is based off of dior this is how it comes and then it comes with the card it tells you like top notes middle notes and base notes of like the scents that you'll be smelling so it says burr gamut lychee orange middle notes is rose jasmine pink pepper and then base notes is patchy patchouli blonde woods and vanilla i love anything that's vanilla scented and that's honestly why i really chose the two that i chose because they had both had like hints of vanilla in them the floral pink pepper is inspired by Mr. sherry and uh, de perfume <laughs> I took french for like three years and i don't know anything but uh here you can read it it's a 2017 version. Um, this year smells really good. It's like a really very powdery, very feminine scent. I love this one so much in the dossier because it just smells so feminine and soft and powdery, just as you would expect the um Dior to like it gives it gives the vibe for me. It gives that vibe. Like it doesn't smell exactly the same, but it gives that vibe. I've also been sent the Oriental Oak Moss perfume, which also I love. This one is based off Chanel. Again, we're giving luxury on a budget, manifesting our future luxury selves, even though I would definitely continue to use this even during that time because they're not exactly they, the same. They give their own, like, they just have their own scents, even though like they're based off of these perfumes because honestly they're very inexpensive and they smell just as good and they last a really long time too so go, go get you some um for real like, that's honestly even if they didn't offer me this package right now you guys probably know from my videos that i was definitely gonna like go for their scents anyway because that's just what i'm trying to do right now my whole vibe is just like manifesting the life that i want to live and honestly it's already gonna be so <laughs> just keep just keep on doing it oriental oak moss this one is based off of a chanel perfume they have quite a few that's based off of chanel perfumes so the oriental oak moss is based off of Chanel, Mademoiselle de Perfume, Dior, Chanel, I feel like our top of the notch luxury. You don't have the budget to get the Dior Chanel perfumes right now, that's fine. You have Dossier and they last, they're like very, very quality, like honestly. I like this one also because it's just like very feminine. This one's more like, uh, in my opinion, more like a nighttime, like heavier scent, more like a very sexier, womanly scent. So I feel like this would be like really good for like date night, or, like if you're going out, just like, I don't know, maybe like a nighttime thing. It just gives me nighttime vibes they're giving what they're supposed to give but overall i just want to like read off their mission what they're all about their mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents did i not just say that yo if you want something similar but not like super expensive this is like where to go so 
So if you're watching this right now and you want to see what scent I chose out of the floral pink pepper and the oriental oak moss to go about my constant day and just like everyday life, then be sure to watch the end of this video to find out. Hi guys, welcome to my NYC penthouse walk-in closet that we're in right now. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with you guys showing you my get ready routine when i'm about to say content because that's what i'm doing today taking contents i already um put some moisturizer on today we're gonna be using my <laughs> chanel just has so many foundations and i have like almost all of them i can't even remember the name Ugh, so fancy <laughs> i'm gonna be using my chanel chanel foundation all over my face and I forgot to buy a new beauty blender so you know even when you're rich sometimes you just you just forget these things <laughs> so I just put a little here here and like here I'm trying not to get makeup on this little duo robe that I have on right now it's so pretty it reminds me of like Cake. And then this foundation is actually super, super full coverage. If you want me to do like a in-depth everyday makeup routine, then you should tell me in the comments. My skin has been kind of crazy lately. And the other day I did like a face mask, an after cider face mask, and it definitely said I think to leave on like for 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. Either way, I kept it on way longer than that. And like my nose, like so dry. It's actually kind of like peeling and then my skin also looked bad also because like i went to marine park if you guys watch my vlogs you know i love it there i went there and literally i got so many mosquito bites i'm gonna be vlogging about that soon actually i even got mosquito bites on my face i had one on my forehead right here i had one on my lip it put me on my eyelid i think both eyelids but my skin right now is just not looking like it's just not it. So next, let's see. Now we're gonna go in with my Chanel Chanel concealer. Sometimes I do it like this and sometimes I do it in that new way that everyone does it, like just like right here and then like here. But I'm so used to doing it like that, I definitely forget a lot of the time. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with it over right here. Today I'm taking content. I have like eight looks that I want to do. It's been a minute since I've taken content actually. Yeah, I've been like pretty just like exhausted and like overwhelmed lately. Back at it. Thankfully I like overdid it on con content. So like I had a lot to spare while I wasn't taking it. I'm gonna overtake again because I have, I still have pictures left over from last time I took content and I'm gonna take content today and I might take content another day this week. But I tell you guys, it bit me on my lip too. It's that mosquito or those mosquitoes. It was like making love to my face. So that's that. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of my Chanel. I have done this before where I've like manifested in my video. It tended to be in the life that I want. But I was not planning on like sharing them. But then I thought about like how I use these dossier perfumes. Every time I use one of the dossier perfumes since I've gotten them, which has been quite often because they smell so like honestly so like luxury so often like every single day but every time i put it on like literally i'm like let me put on my dior or my chanel in full idea of like manifesting this is where i'm headed you know and even before they offered to work with me this is like fully what i had in mind to like use these type of perfumes for maybe god had his ideas or something or whatever whatever you believe really grateful for this collaboration actually alrighty so what's next i'm gonna do my brows i'm gonna use my anastasia i'm actually running out of these i need to spend like five thousand more dollars and buy another one we just you know got it like that don't guess i'm pretty sure that if i was wealthy <laughs> I would not talk like this though. I'm not fucking humble or trying to guess, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, 
So this is how I do I like my eyebrows. I like brush it up and then just go and shape them. Um, Jokes. Right here. Bone storage has been giving me the most trouble. So I'm making my chenille. I'm going to just clean up my brows. Come on, meter. I literally need to like start taking vitamins or something because I am just tired all the time. Or maybe it's because I sleep backwards. I always forget about that. Like today, I literally went to bed like 7 a.m. <laughs> I dozed off a couple of times, but I was honestly having like crazy anxiety. So I kept waking back up. And then, I don't know, like 6 a.m. I decided I wanted to watch a movie. So I started watching The Notebook. Now I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty setting powder. It passes the um, manifestation test. We can use this in the future. It's just so nice. I love the like, packaging of all the Fenty products. It's so cute. I just put it like underneath my eyes and I try to like put on my cheekbones right here because it gets like really oily right there. I don't know, the glowy look, I just really don't like it in like pictures. Video, it could be okay, but like in pictures, this like little routine that I have going right now keeps my face pretty matte while I take pictures. I don't have to keep on dabbing like a million times. I'm doing my makeup so all over the place. Next. We're gonna contour. What's an expensive brush brand? <laughs> I don't know. I like Morphe. Morphe is a pretty good brand for brushes. So I'm using my Morphe, this little brush, and just like push the contour up. Let's use this little brush. Also, a Morphe. I'm about to like search an expensive brush brand because you me. She deserves the most expensive. I can't help but laugh because literally I know people are gonna watch this. <laughs> but all my manifestations are coming true. I manifested you watching this right now. Thank you for being here. I like this brush though. Because it just does a really good job of like blending out any little thing. So well, that's my base. Now for the finishing touches. My favorite part right now is dark eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette. I mean, we're gonna use my... Natasha Denona. <laughs> I'm gonna use this dark brown shade. Me literally just pulling these wings out my ass right now. I'm gonna use this like nice like chocolate brown. Yeah, and I just put it all over my eyelid. Like literally just all over. It's down here. Okay, let's not get crazy. Because that just looks so heavy. And adding it underneath the eye is also like a huge huge difference and then when i do content i always put some white eyeliner in my waterline so my eyes just look bigger on camera i really want some like urban decay like liners i feel like they would just be really good so we're gonna use this urban decay <laughs> urban decay liner you know what they say they say use cheap lip gloss and cheap mascara and then i don't know expensive other things but um we're gonna live with that oh you know what also i'm gonna put some in my brows because i've been doing that sometimes and it really makes a nice difference i got a little bit on my forehead right here i'm gonna wait for that to dry I learned that from Kim Kardashian. Thank you, Miss Kardashian, for raising us all. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna scratch that off. I'm gonna put on my Urban Decay lip liner. Honestly, guys, I've been wanting to use Urban Decay for ages. And one lip liner is like, I think, like $24. And like, yo, I think how quickly I go through lip liners. Ur Urban Decay. Almost out of this one, obviously. I feel like speaking about shit on camera, ever since I moved out of my mom's house, is like the best way to like manifest things. Just like speak it and then like release it. This way, like I know that I'm like joking around right now, but if you're new to the manifestation game, like you should try 
very nice. I'm gonna use this um, Fenty Beauty palette. I've been liking to use this like green shade right here. It's like this greenish golden shade. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but there it goes. This pretty green shade. I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner and then I'm gonna add some blush. These finishing touches really do be it though. Cause the inner corner just brightens up your face. The lip liner just adds like this like whole bombshell effect. Even though I have that on my own. <laughs> just kidding. I mean I'm not kidding. We all need to like think that way, I feel like. Even if you don't feel that way, that will just like say it even if you don't believe it. At the moment. Thank goodness when I was in like high school, one of my favorite phrases, even before I knew anything about like manifestation was fake it till you make it that was like my catchphrase in high school i think my catchphrase now is it's not hard it's easy like for like everything but like in high school it was fake it till you make it and like i was just like fake being confident <laughs> even though i was like hella insecure but yeah now look at me lastly 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 i'm gonna put on some blush I like to put it all the way, like in this like heart shape, onto my temples. I think today I'll put on my nose. I feel like it also gives a cute button nose like effect to your nose, even without like contouring. That's that. Oh yeah, I have to do my hair. Anyway, thumbnail. So if you're at the end of the video, I'm sure you want to know which one I chose to go about my day in. I love the floral pink pepper and that's what I'm going to go with today because first of all, I am Dior baby. You have to be who you want to be. I love Dior. This is just giving what's supposed to give. I feel like it's a very light, nice, florally, powdery daytime scent and I just like really like this one. I love this one too. I'm just really honestly waiting for the right moment to wear it. Like I just want to like go out in the nighttime and just wear this one. But this one is definitely a very everyday scent. So if you're looking for everyday scent, I think maybe you should try this one. But like I said, you don't have to go what I'm going for. You can definitely explore whatever your like you know, vibe is. So I like light powdery girly type scents. Girly vanilla e um type scents. This um Oriental Oak Moss also has hints of vanilla vanilla in it which is why out of all the chanel scents i chose this one but this one's like very like womanly very sexy giving like powerful vibes it's just that's a vibe so i feel like this is like for me a nighttime scent and since i'm just going about my day i'm gonna use the floral pink pepper and yeah i think they're both quality i think they're quality they last long i could put on some of this yesterday and i will still smell it on me today like it lasts like it's very much definitely worth your money and like you should just give it a try because it's very it's very fair i think very fair as they said price point for a very good quality product if you're planning on trying this with me you should definitely tell me which one you're gonna get and if, if you have one you should tell me what you have and what your feet or what your favorite scent is because i would love to know i would love to like explore other scents as well for myself personally so if you have any like advice that you want to give you should definitely leave it in the comments because i'm sure it'll be useful to like other people as well that might want to like explore the scents that Dossier has. Also, let's just note how good of a size bottle this is. Like, I've been using this pretty much every single day since I've gotten it, and like, I've hardly made a dent. They're just like really good products. Like, I really, 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 really like this, and I really, really, really am so grateful for 
dossier for working out with me on this collaboration on this video i'm gonna show you guys how i apply my um perfume so the way i learned to do it so i would put it on my finger and then like apply it behind my ears but typically i just put it on both sides of my neck on my wrist on both wrists put it in the crevice or whatever you call that of my arms and i also put some behind my kneecap and then i just honestly go wild after that so it gets like in my hair and just like on my clothes and everywhere these type of areas they have like a pulse so i think the area i believe those areas are just like warmer so it just you know emits the scent more you know so yeah you're just like a walking diffuser oh okay so yeah i'm gonna say cons today